What's up my beautiful people? It's Courtney and today I'm adding to my tested series. So this all started with my BuzzFeed testing out videos and now we're taking it a step farther and testing out YouTubers, DIYs, life hacks, all that good stuff. I thought who better to start with than Rachel from RCL Beauty 101. So I'm going to be testing out her DIYs today. Let me know if you guys like this by giving this video a like and let me know who else you want to see me do next in the comments down below. But before we get started, I'm having a MacBook Air giveaway right now running until November 29th and it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my second channel called The It List. It's like a top 10 list and interact with me. So I'm going to leave details down below and if you want extra entries, there will be options to get those down below. If you are interested, you could check them out and let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to test out these double sided nails. So Rachel did rainbow on the back side, but I'm doing more like a pink ombre. So we're going to start off with some petroleum jelly and I'm putting it on a Q-tip and putting this on the back side of my nails. I guess it's supposed to help for the nail polish to come off easier when it gets stuck to your fingers, which it does do. This is a DIY I would recommend. If you have a really long fingers, it would come out kind of cool. My nails are somewhat long and it just kind of made a mess on me. A lot of like the nail polish got stuck to my finger and the petroleum jelly didn't help too much to get it off, but it is a cool effect if you're able to clean it all up. And side note, it's also really hard to take off too, but it does look cool if for the time being so this is what it looks like and I like how it came out I but here you could see like it kind of got stuck to my skin and like when you try to use a q-tip it's just a big mess and also some of the darker colors did get on the front of my nails but when you paint over it it does go away so that's good but it is a cool effect and I would highly recommend it if you have long nails then we are going to try her lipstick out of bubblegum and to do this she used regular typical bubblegum and I'm using Eclipse gum just because I didn't have regular gum so we're going to see how this works. You're going to take like a scoop full of petroleum jelly and put it in with the gum and then also add in um, some food coloring and I used a lot just to really try to make sure the color was going to be bold. So then you're going to go ahead and stick that in the microwave for 30 seconds and then when you come back just mix it all up and then you're going to do it again. Again, and stick it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds to just about everything to start to dissolve. I think the coating on this gum kind of got in the way a little bit. Then I'm going to take a empty lipstick tube and just use a spoon to kind of pour it in. This is kind of messy, but it works actually rather well. And then you're going to take this tube when you're all done making a giant mess. I just kind of cleaned it up with a paper towel, by the way. But then you're just going to go ahead and stick it in the freezer for about five minutes or so. And it does freeze really fast. Inside the lipstick tube kind of looks a little bit messy, but it actually formed like a lipstick better than I was expecting. And it feels so good on your lips between the Vaseline and the mint. You get a little minty flavor. Now the only thing with this is it felt like it started to melt on my lips. So I would recommend storing this lipstick tube in the freezer, but I like how it came out and it's kind of like a cool feeling. So then we're trying off this peel off makeup, which was super simple. You're going to use some school glue, make sure it's safe and non-toxic. And you might want to do a skin test on your skin as well to make sure you're not allergic to anything. Now I mixed some food coloring in, but I definitely did not put enough in. I thought this color that I was mixing would be the color that I would actually come out. And I thought I'd play around and do something fun like blue. And then I just applied it to my lips with this makeup brush and it's actually really simple and this is very comparable to the real peel off makeup and the way it works. Um, with the real stuff I had a little bit of trouble with the lipstick coming off and I did have a little trouble with this peeling off but I actually think it peels off better than the peel off lipstick. So the only thing is my color payoff was absolutely terrible. I definitely did not use enough food coloring. I just have like I look like I'm so cold right now because of the blue on my lips and it was a little bit patchy too too, but I would definitely play around with this a little more. If you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below. I want to give you a little special thank you. And let me know also who you want to see me do next, or if you like this series, you don't like it, let me know. And if you missed my last videos, you can click on the side of me, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!